akan belajar macam mana cara nak sunat orang literally okay this is not a joke this is true okay you akan normally you akan daftar lepas tu you akan ada teori kelas dengan senior senior akan guide you um, ada juga doktor probably and then you akan ada lepas teori kelas you akan ada teori exam lepas teori exam you akan ada practical class you akan um, practice with seniors Um, and then lepas you ada teori kelas, you akan ada teori exam. Teori exam usually will be with your seniors, year 5, year 4. Usually will be the one who will be tested you and you'll be given marks of course. So these things are actually very important for you in order to melayakkan you menjadi a part of sunatuan teams. Let's join us. Tapi malangnya untuk tahun ni kita orang tak ada event. Disebutkan um, PKP, COVID, our campus already closed. Um, everything dah tukar pada online balik. So recruitment pun ditunda okay. but it's really fun because I myself is a part of Sunanton so lepas you dah a part of it the event will be every uh, at the end of the year sebabnya waktu tu adalah waktu cuti sekolah um, at the end of the year tu memang akan busy you akan dihantar dekat macam-macam tempat basically you kena bukanlah berebut but you kena it's more like siapa cepat dia dapat konsep basically it will be long story here okay you have to actually fill certain forms untuk you pergi ke tempat tu lah and you memang you sendiri akan um, practice everything daripada anesthesia and also apa lagi dia ada few stations and then sterilize you also have um, runner um, surgeon of course assistant surgeon and then you also ada tempat pendaftaran you can also you boleh berada di tempat I can't remember what is it called but basically tempat tu you akan bagi ubat you can um, observe the patient after dia orang sunat uh, dekat situ you akan macam like rawat or like sapu ubat yang akan you kena buat lah ada proses dia dan ada proses dia so that one will be the one you will be worried after you jadi part of sunatuan most of the thing you will be doing with your senior the only thing yang doktor akan buat masih ada doktor dekat situ I mean like your senior yang dah jadi doktor and lecturer pun ada juga dekat situ doktor lah basically and dia orang akan they have their own parts but most of the thing daripada A sampai Z usually you will be the one yang akan buat dengan your senior daripada pendaftaran suture ah suture ada suture jahit semua tu so you akan belajar everything you akan belajar so don't worry it's very very exciting no worries you can join us okay um hari tu pun if i'm not mistaken i heard Recruitment baru are ramai 100 lebih something like that So It's very nice way for you to actually get used with um, Medical work And then Yeah that one will be the Sunatuan team I think I Cerita banyak sangat tentang Sunatuan team So probably if you guys want to know more Maybe I will make another video regarding it Tapi uh, That's for the introduction of the Sunatuan team And then ada juga medical checkup Medical checkup team also have Uh, dia punya class and juga exam sama ada theory class theory exam practical class and practical exam but no worries maybe you guys macam cuak when it comes to ada nama exam macam tu but not difficult at all you just have to masa theory you focus you dengar betul-betul and masa practical you kena tengok betul-betul and practice more to practices lah macam tu sebab you kena buat Kena practice everything So you will get used with it eventually So no worries Okay Medical check out Basically um, You Once you be a part of it You akan pergi ke tempat-tempat juga um, Basically you akan check Blood pressure You akan everything Mostly you akan belajar juga Dalam your syllabus in Medicine Cumanya bila you expose Lebih awal Kiranya you boleh practice lagi awal lah That's the good thing lah Cuba for Both of these teams are really really fun And lain club pun ada You guys can check it out Everything is fun actually Oh before anything I forget So disebabkan COVID Pandemic sekarang So we actually have 5 years right 5 years means we have 10 semester First semester we get to Learn everything face to face But the second semester Because of the pandemic uh, Basically everything was done online So macam Wow, it's an experience where we get first, we get half-half. We get to experience 
first semester everything as usual in campus the second semester we get to experience everything in online and then now the third semester we actually the first few weeks we were back in campus streamer masih online juga ada certain classes and sessions ada yang membenarkan kami face to face which is laboratory yang menyebab yang melibatkan makmal semua tu itu kita orang um, face to face lah tapi um, because of the new instruction and statement from the government so we were back we are back with online ways again um, macam mana rasanya online classes basically at first it was hard to get adapted with it because you know the suasana you dekat rumah macam mana suasana you dekat campus macam mana so for you to actually study you need to work harder to actually get adapted with everything um, but eventually it, everything went well Um, we had our exams online, um, assignments online, um, quizzes online. If you ask how the examinations were done, basically the lecturers will give us a link and we have to fill it up before certain times. If you have problems, you just have to contact the lecturers. And also, you have to be honest. <laughs> That's it. And, uh, we will be given the time limits. If we pass the time limits, we actually cannot submit the questions to the lecturers unless if you have like um, problem connection you just have to inform the lecturers and lecturers will open back the forms for you and everything but mostly um, when it comes to online of course there will be a lot of problems with the connection and with technical problem lah so, I mean, it was hectic sometimes but ada juga yang everything went well so I'll meniru ke tak tiru tu I'm not sure but I guess like after all we don't have many choices after all we only have bad and worse so better we choose bad choice rather than the worst choice but for our final examination macam masa kita orang semester 2 pun even sekarang pun sepatutnya hari ni pagi tadi kita orang hari jumaat ni hari ni hari jumaat masa tadi patutnya dah final for my first block of the third semester memang lectures kalau lectures memang um, takkan buat online when it comes to final examination even masa semester 2 pun kita orang tak buat final examination masa online eh juga no 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 I think we had to do online because we had no choice because the um, PKP was suspended last time we had no choice eventually we had to actually make it but the plan was to make final examination or face to face macam kalau boleh tak nak online sebabnya It's about final examination, it's not me cause. One more thing, I forget to tell how the examination was done um, as usual. Like, macam kalau tak ada pandemic semua. Basically, the system was, um, kita orang ada, the main course, kita orang akan ada ABC. It was called as SBAQ, Single Best Answer Equation. Basically, um, it means you have ABCD, but uh, there will be two or three answers which kind of like close macam betul macam betul but you guys have to very very careful so that one is the trick for the SBAQ and then for the final course we have SBAQ we have also SAQ SAQ is um subjective okay? you will have to write lah write down the answers SAQ and then we also sometimes we have v VIQ VIQ too you have um you'll be given pictures And then you will have to answer what it is. Oh, and for the examination punya systemic marking, you can gain below than C minus, or you will have to repeat the paper. If I'm not mistaken, if you want to repeat the paper, you have to pay for 200 ringgit each paper. And in the same time, uh, selain daripada blog yang kita orang belajar sekarang, kita orang pun ada kelas petang. Kelas petang tu nama dia MPU. We have MPU Entrepreneurship. We also have uh, ECPD class. We have Kelasa Awam. We also have Hubungan Etni. Kita orang ada TITAS. Okay, macam dia tak ada grade tapi you have to pass. In order for you to pass your first your the whole year lah. Oh, I almost forget. Okay, so for the dress code. Of course, as a medical student, it's very important not only your attendance but also your dress code. Okay, this will be a doctor, so obviously it's very important. These are the dress code for the medical student. Very basically, um, it's nothing um, out of ordinary. It's just simply very professional one. 
Okay, basically you tak boleh pakai jeans. Okay, for attendance, you cannot uh, exceed certain percentage or else even warning letter if you must exceed certain percentage without any reasons you will be barred from entering your examination hall another reason that you can be barred from your examination hall adalah sebutkan your dress code so contoh dia um, you tak boleh pakai jeans and then you also macam kena formal for guys you have to wear ties and then for girls you cannot wear this um if you want to wear skirts, you cannot wear skirts above me. The other CM there, okay, and then you can. You also cannot uh, wear um, heels and tinggi. And then um, you also for the rambut for the guys cannot be too long. Of course, you have to look smart, very professional as a future doctor. So yeah, um, first year maybe you. Maybe lectures become lenient to you But when it comes to clinical years And the second year Probably lectures will take actions Like contoh you tak boleh Lepas lepas dia waktu lectures masuk Probably the lectures can kunci pintu Lepas dia masuk dia boleh kunci pintu So setiap yang lepas dia tu Probably cannot enter Or maybe usually The usual case doctor akan bagi masuk But after certain minutes lah After a few minutes later Barulah dibuka um, macam tu Of course you have to wear a metric card I think the just the usual one Yang mana dekat sekolah tu I think mostly applicable yang sama juga For shirt um, We cannot wear round neck t-shirt As usual <laughs> Okay and then for guys have to wear a uh, long or uh, short sleeve button down uh, collared shirt with necktie um, collared t-shirt normal lah normal those things are actually like normal like. but what I'm saying what, my point is just simply like you have to uh, when it comes to medical student of course uh, these three things are very important your attendance your time punctuality and also your uh, dress code very important so yeah these three are like the most important things and the ones that our lecturers keep on uh, mentioning to us and like highlight to us every single weeks if I'm not mistaken for the first year okay I think I've concluded everything regarding my course my co-curriculum the co-curriculum the system how it works the examination the exams the three things which are very important for medical students um yeah I think that's it I don't think I miss anything else I know so to i Yes, yeah, so I know how this um, share everything for today. Thank you very much for watching. I guess I'll see you guys on my next video.